everybody, I'm Cece, and today is a sewing day for me. I'm going to be making these really cute and handy hanging kitchen towels. You hang them like on your refrigerator door on the stove handle, and they make wonderful hostess gifts when you're going somewhere for dinner uh, for a cute little birthday gift. I give them to Lulu and to my other daughter-in-laws at all the different holidays. Here's one that I made for fall time. Thanksgiving, I had them out in the chairs of all the gals that were here for Thanksgiving. And of course, Santa for Christmas. Here's one for Valentine's Day that I made. Now today I'm gonna to be sewing some for Easter and spring and for a friend whose 60th birthday is this coming weekend. And I'm going to give her several of these um, for a birthday gift. Now here's the supplies that you'll need to make one of these hanging towels. You'll need a towel. And I usually get these at like the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General because actually it to just buy it as a plain towel, they seem kind of thin and that, but when after you sure them up, they're actually nicer. If they're a little thinner towel, they look better. And then I get these hot pads. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. You get two for a dollar. So they end up being 50 cents each. So, so far you just got a dollar 50 in the towel and the hot pad. And then I always get buttons that coincide with the theme. So for this particular one, I got cute little butterfly buttons. Here's a close up. <laughs> and um, then I got this other one. It says coffee tastes better with friends. And I'm gonna give this to my friend for a birthday with a little white um, heart button. And then I'm gonna do this for Easter. It says happy Easter on it with a green hot pad and little white bunny buttons for the Easter one. And I get my buttons, I've tried all different places, but I have the most success at Joanne Fabrics. They have tons of buttons and a lot of holiday and uh, themed type buttons. Um, I try and get them in a multiple bag because you get a lot more for your money that way. And then of course you need your sewing machine and your thread and that's it. And so for under $2, you can have a really cute little gift. All right, I've got my glasses, so let's begin. All right, you're gonna start with your towel, open it up, and then fold it so it's exactly half. Then I take a pin and mark it on this side at the top and this side at the top. And that way, when you open it up to sew and, and put your gathering stitches in, you have a reference point to know where to put your line. That way, okay? Now, with a basting stitch, and for those of you that aren't real familiar, a basting stitch is a, usually like, in, on mine it's a three and a half, and it's a wide, longer stitch and it'll make it easier for you to sure that way. And you just wanna keep making sure that you stay right in the center, meeting those, the line with those two pins is your reference. tail for shirring. And I'm going to come back and do the second one just about a quarter of an inch away from the other. I know some of the more modern machines have a shirring feature, which this is kind of a more modern machine, but I'm not real super happy with it. There's some things I wish it had that I haven't been able to figure out or it just doesn't have it. But it gets the job done, so. What kind of machine is it? This is a Husqvarna machine. Okay, next, you're going to take your hot pad. I always cut the tags off the hot pad and the towel. I just think it's nicer. You're going to put the wrong side on the inside and fold it up like this so that the little handle is on the back part. 
Then I put a pin on the top of the half of each of these. So that gives me another point of reference. Okay, now I'm going to sure the towel. And you can see how this is just, it's so much easier with a, this thinner towel than if I were to have a really thick towel. But it still kind of gets stuck a little bit. matching the pins so they're in the the centers are meeting okay and I'll see how much more I have to sure so that it'll match this the length of the hot pad so I have to sure this side up a little bit as well you just want to sure it so that it's the same length as the hot pad and matching the pins once again you know I chose white thread to sure the towel you want to pick two different colors of thread one is the basic color of the towel which is what you're going to use for shirring because sometimes the stitches show a little bit when you fold this up sometimes they might poke out a little bit so you want it to match the towel but when you're going to sew the hot pad on, you don't want white on this. So I'm going to do blue for the um, under, for the bobbin thread. And then, but keep white on the top. And that way I'm going to get white when I sew this on, on the towel. But on the underside, it'll be blue. So let me change my thread and I'll be right back. busy sewing, I'm busy drinking this delicious smoothie that she made me. Mm. It's so easy to make. She just used her Ninja blender and she put some frozen mangoes and strawberries and also just some pineapple orange juice and that's all it is, just three ingredients and it is delicious. So now we're ready to sew the towel to the hot pad right down the center. I have to give it a little bit of encouragement because it's thick. Stitch right down where the other stitch lines are, the sure lines. Making sure that I'm right in the center. all the extra strings take the pins out Now all you have to do is sew the button on and there you have a cute hanging towel. I'll sew the button right at the top here and then this comes around and clips to it and you can hang it on your stove handle. 
How easy and cute are these? Absolutely adorable, so fun for the holidays, so fun for cute little gifts. So now I'm just finishing up by sewing on my cute butterfly button. Now, I do wanna um, give you a couple tips. When you're sewing, when you have a towel that has part that goes up and down, like when it's this way, it's all going one direction. But when you're holding it up like this, you can see on the, this side, it's upside down as opposed to this side. So you wanna make sure when you're sewing the pad onto the towel that you have the hanger in the back and on the front side you have your nap going in the right direction. Otherwise it's gonna be flipped upside down and look funny. On this towel, there really is no front and back. Yeah, so I'm just hand stitching the button on. Oh, and also, when you're getting buttons, the buttons that have the little uh, attachment on the back look the best, as opposed to the buttons that have holes all the way through. And it helps to um, have the button stick out a little bit from the hot pad and so when the hanger comes around to hook underneath it it just has that little extra space in there to catch behind so it's just handier to have this type of button well I'm finished with my towel look at how absolutely adorable this is this will be perfect for spring and summertime with the flowers and the butterflies and I tell you in less than 15 minutes I have this cute towel done Perfect. Okay, so this is how you put it on your stove. Just wrap it up around like that. Attach the hook, the hanging to the button and let it hang on your stove. So if you enjoyed this little hanging towel DIY video, please go down below and leave a comment. And if you make one, we'd love to see your pictures. So send us a picture on our YouTube station or on our Instagram. And really with all the towels, hot pads, and buttons out there, the possibilities are endless for your creativity. Have a great day.